Ever felt like you're drowning in a sea of credit cards, loans, and investment options? Like you need to be a Wall Street genius just to make heads or tails of it all? Hey, you're not the only one. Imagine this, you're in a maze, the walls are skyscraper bills and mind-boggling jargon, the path is paved with financial mumbo-jumbo. Overwhelming, right? But what if I let you in on a secret, a way out of this money muddle, the golden ticket to crack open the vault of these financial mysteries? That ticket, folks, is financial education. It's not the star of the show in our school syllabi, often getting upstaged by algebra and Shakespearean sonnets. But trust me, it's a skill that's as critical as brewing that perfect cup of joe. So, stay tuned because we're about to dive into a mission to unravel the financial knots and unleash the might of your moolah. Imagine trying to assemble a jigsaw puzzle without the picture on the box. That's what managing money without financial literacy feels like. Ever tried to navigate a city without a map? It's a bit like that. You might stumble upon a few interesting spots, but you're likely to get lost more often than not. Financial literacy is your map in the world of personal finance. It's the compass that points you in the right direction when you're faced with a sea of investment options. It's the flashlight that illuminates the path towards secure retirement and the shield that protects you from the snares of financial scams. Without financial literacy, you're like a ship at sea tossed around by the waves of impulse spending, excessive debt, and poor money management. You might find yourself unable to plan for future goals like retirement because, let's face it, it's hard to plan a journey when you don't even know where you're starting from. You're vulnerable to financial scams and predatory lending practices because, without the right knowledge, it's easy to fall prey to shiny promises of quick returns. Not convinced yet? Let's look at some facts. According to a study by the National Endowment for Financial Education, nearly two-thirds of Americans can't pass a basic test of financial literacy. That's like going into a math test and failing to solve two-thirds of the problems. Not a pretty picture, is it? But here's the silver lining. Financial literacy isn't a trait you're born with. It's not dependent on your IQ, your college degree, or your social status. It's a skill, and like any other skill, it can be learned. With the right resources and a bit of dedication, anyone can become financially literate. And when you do, you'll find that the world of personal finance isn't as daunting as it seems. It's like finally finding that missing piece of the puzzle and seeing the whole picture come together. You'll be able to navigate the money maze with confidence, make informed decisions about your finances and build a secure future. But fear not, my fellow money mavericks, because knowledge is power. And if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell for more financial wisdom. Financial education is like a superpower, transforming you from a financial damsel in distress to a money maestro. It's like suddenly understanding a foreign language where every word, every phrase starts making sense. It's like finally seeing the matrix and realizing that the world of finance isn't as scary as it seems. First, let's talk about informed decision-making. Financial education gives you the power to navigate the sea of financial products and services with ease. Credit cards, loans, investments, insurance, they all start to make sense. You no longer have to rely on the advice of others. Instead, you gain the confidence to weigh the pros and cons and make choices that align with your financial goals. It's like being able to order off a menu in a foreign language without needing to rely on the waiter's recommendations. Next, let's talk about building a secure future. With financial education, you can plan for retirement, manage debt, and even build wealth. You can set your sail towards financial independence and weather any financial storm that comes your way. It's like having a compass in a forest guiding you towards your destination, no matter how dense the thicket. And finally, let's talk about reduced financial stress. Knowledge is power, and in this case, it's the power to manage your finances without losing sleep. With financial education, you can anticipate financial challenges and prepare for them in advance. It's like having a weather forecast in hand before a storm, allowing you to take preventive measures and stay dry when the downpour begins. So, financial education gives you the power to make informed decisions, build a secure future, and reduce financial stress. It's like a key that unlocks a treasure chest of financial confidence and independence. So, how do we acquire this superpower, you ask? Let's dive in. Just like how everyone has a unique coffee order, everyone has a unique learning style. And guess what? There's a financial resource out there that matches your style. So, 
Let's dive into the deep end of the financial education pool and discover these resources. First up, we've got free online resources. These are like the appetizers in a fancy restaurant, small, free, but packed with flavor. Websites, blogs, YouTube channels, you name it, they've got it. There's an ocean of knowledge waiting to be explored. One such reputable source is the National Endowment for Financial Education. It's like the Hogwarts for financial education, minus the magic, of course. Next on our list are books and podcasts. Remember how we used to dread those bulky textbooks in school? Well, financial education books are nothing like that. They're more like treasure maps, guiding you one step at a time towards your financial goals. And for those of you who prefer to listen rather than read, podcasts are your go-to. They're like your personal finance radio, but without the annoying commercials. Now, if you're someone who thrives in a structured environment, consider attending financial workshops and courses. They're like your personal finance gym, helping you flex those financial muscles and get into shape. And no, you don't have to wear gym clothes. Lastly, for those complex financial knots that you just can't untangle, there are financial advisors. They're like personal trainers, but for your finances. They can guide you through the financial labyrinth, helping you dodge those pesky financial pitfalls. Remember, it's okay to seek help when you need it. Now, don't feel overwhelmed. Remember, you don't have to devour all these resources at once. It's not an all-you-can-eat buffet. It's more like a menu. You pick and choose what suits your palate. Perhaps you're a visual learner who benefits from watching YouTube videos. Or maybe you're an auditory learner who absorbs information best from podcasts. Or perhaps you're a kinesthetic learner who learns best by doing, in which case workshops and courses might be your thing. The point is there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to financial education. It's like shopping for clothes. You try on different styles, see what fits, and go with what makes you feel fabulous. So go ahead, explore these resources, dabble in a few, dip your toes in the water before you dive in. You never know, you might just stumble upon your very own financial guru. And remember, knowledge isn't power until it's applied. So as you learn, start applying these concepts to your financial life. Start small and gradually build up. It's not about how fast you go, it's about not stopping. So pick your poison, or in this case, your potion to financial prowess, because when it comes to financial education, the world is your oyster and you're just getting started. Now that we've equipped ourselves with financial knowledge, it's time to put it into action. It's like learning to swim. You can't stay dry forever. So how do we dive into the deep end of financial management? Let's break it down. First off, let's talk about setting SMART goals. That's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals. It's like saying, I want to save $3,000 for a vacation in Hawaii by next summer instead of just, I want to save money. This way, you have a clear target, a way to measure progress, and a timeline to keep you on track. Next, we need to create a budget. Think of it as your personal financial roadmap. It's about understanding where your money comes from and where it goes. It's not about depriving yourself, but rather about making informed decisions. You can use budgeting apps, spreadsheets, or even good old pen and paper. Whatever floats your boat. Now, onto tracking your spending. This is like a reality check for your budget. It's about knowing if you're spending $3 or 30 on coffee every day. It's about understanding your habits so you can make changes if needed. It's not about guilt tripping yourself for that extra latte, but about making sure your money is working for you, not against you. Lastly, start small and celebrate progress. You don't have to become Warren Buffett overnight. Even if you just start by tracking your spending or saving an extra $10 a week, that's progress. And every time you hit a milestone, no matter how small, give yourself a pat on the back. You're doing great. Now I know it might sound like a lot, but remember Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is financial confidence, but every step counts. So let's get to it. So we've navigated the money maze, uncovered our superpower, found our financial guru, and learned how to dive into the deep end. It's been quite the journey, hasn't it? But what does all this mean? It means that financial education isn't just about knowing the difference between a stock and a bond or how to calculate interest. It's about empowering yourself to make informed decisions and take control of your financial future. It's about building the confidence to navigate the twists and turns of the financial world. We've explored resources from free online sites to books and podcasts that cater to different learning styles. We've seen how translate our newfound knowledge into actionable steps, starting small and celebrating progress along the way. So go forth, conquer your finances, and remember, 
The power to control your financial future is in your hands. Happy budgeting. And before we wind up, if you found this video helpful, do the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Let's conquer the financial world together.